Hi, Matthew here. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the side chain pumping effect on the Electron Octatrack. If we're using external gear, like the Ericasense baseline, we're going to want to make sure that our Octatrack is receiving clock. Hold function and go to MIDI. Turn transport receive on, clock receive on. Don't worry about the others. In this example, we're going to be using external gear. So we're going to use a through track. Double press source, find your through track. Then decide what inputs you're listening to. We're going to use C and D. Turn the volume all the way up, and then turn your track level all the way up. This should set the octatrack at unity gain. So it's playing back exactly what it hears without attenuating any volumes. Next, go into recorder mode and place down a playback trig so that our through track will work. Press play to initiate that. Let's have a listen. Cool, it's working. Next, we're gonna place down some trigless trigs. Hold function, press 5, 9, and 13. Then hold those trigs and press yes. This will turn them into trigless trigs. Trigless trigs have a unique ability. They allow the octatract to treat those steps or those sequencer steps like they are samples, allowing you to trigger the amp envelope, the LFO, and filter envelopes. At this stage, we have to make a choice. How would we like to reduce our volume to create that pumping effect? We have a couple obvious choices. We can use the volumes, such as the volume input for our through track. We can use our amp volume, or we can use the filter width and not let any frequencies through. For this tutorial, we're gonna use the filter width. Go to your LFO page, double press to go to the second menu. Change your source to filter width. Change the wave to an inverted exponential wave. Bring the multiplier to four. Change the trig to one. Leave the speed at 32, which is what it's at by default. Here's a straight bass line. Here's what it sounds like when you bring your LFO depth all the way up. Here's how that sounds when you add a bunch of reverb to it. Another cool thing we can do with this is to assign this LFO value to a scene. So we could use scene 16, for example, and just have it set to 127 and bring that down. Super cool. I personally prefer to just turn it up with my hand. That way, when I'm using other scene effects, I can add them together. The reason I choose to use the filter width rather than the amp volume is because I noticed the Octatrack was creating artifacts in the audio when it reduced the volume too quickly, but it has no problem doing that with the filter. So it creates gorgeous sidechain effects, sidechain pumping that is. Anyhow, if you like this video, if you like supporting me, subscribe to the channel and visit my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash easybot. Thanks for watching.